Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday, July 5th. What do we got going on today? Uh, I guess one of the most interesting releases today was the Caxon Services PMI. This is out of China uh, overnight. Missed by three points. Uh, came in at sort of 53 and change. They were expecting 56 and change. Um, can't really be that good for Aussie. What's Aussie doing now? It's not really doing too, too much. Yesterday, post RBA, we went down to 40, back up to 05. Um, we sold, uh, we sold some 88s, and we sold some 98s. We're keeping it pretty conservative at the moment. Uh, we, you know, we, we kind of taken half that position back, so we're kind of in a safe average. But Aussie looks a little worrying. Uh, if China's going to roll over, I mean, we're not below 50 by any means, but that was a pretty big miss uh, Chinese PMI last night. So something to keep in mind. We talked about services PMI uh, today out of Europe, but it's the final uh, services PMI, so there'll be very little volatility on these releases. Um, I'm not sure there's a lot to do here in Europe this morning as far as uh, event-driven stuff. Of course, OPEC is meeting today. God knows what's going to happen there. Um, let's take a look at oil. 70 90 so it's it's back higher i guess um we talked about this yesterday 67 is a real problem if we get below that in oil um i don't know i don't know what to do with oil you get the feeling they may cut again or have some sort of notion to cut and this is kind of the downward sloping trend defines a downward sloping trend from from April. We are not going to be trading oil today, but it is going to move, uh, so keep an eye on it. And if you're trading CAD or, or Norwegian Corona, um, just be aware that FOMC headlines will be happening probably usually between uh, 2 and 5 p.m. European time. FOMC meeting minutes tonight. Those, uh, I feel like, are going to be hawkish, but I also feel like that's kind of priced in. So where does that leave us? It doesn't leave us with too much, right? Let's, let's look at gold. Um, did a couple of small trades uh, on the long side yesterday. We're square again. Um, we'll be looking to try and buy this, I don't know, between sort of, I don't even know, between 22 and 12, we'll try and reinstate longs with the idea that we are not going to get below 1892. Um, let's see how that goes. Euro Swiss, not really doing what we needed it to do. Um, we have some small longs in the books. Nothing crazy. You've got loads of flexibility. Um, again, we think uh, the SMB is finished. We actually think that the ECB is also finished. We think that everybody's finished raising rates. Uh, I know that's not what the uh, flock is thinking, but feel like there's some trouble on the horizons here as we digest uh, what 6 to 7% mortgages mean uh, and 18 to 20% credit card debt means for the Western world. So a few of you have been asking us about that um, in the comment section and on the DMs. This is, this is where we stand. So we think that... <laughs> The SNB doesn't really want this thing below 97, uh, and this will probably head up to 1, and it'll be driven by euro dollar higher. Um, and I know there's a lot of pushback about how Germany is, you know, getting fucked and 
France is going through some social unrest. Um, feels like the 18 year olds, feels like any of you who have teenagers in your house kind of know how Macron feels. Um, bunch of youngsters running around, um, thinking they know better than all the old people in the room. Kind of, <laughs> I find it kind of amusing. Um, that said, uh, I'll be in Paris for the week of 17 to 21, um, just to show you that uh, I don't think France is unsafe at all. Um, there are a few neighborhoods outside of Paris that, you know, if you're out at midnight, there's going to be some hool hooliganism. But um, anyway, we're in Paris. We're in Paris for the ETH conference, uh, 18 to 21 or 17 to 21 uh, this month. What else is there out there? There's really not a ton else out there, right? Like we're gonna try and pick up some euros down in this sort of 25, uh, 108 and a quarter um, to 107.85 area. I'm not sure we're gonna get the kind of volatility for that to get down there, but that's on our books. Um, what is Cross Yen doing? Not too much, but kind of a bearish day, kind of a bearish turny possible day. Is this quadruple top going to hold? Is 158 the end of um, hysteria here? I don't think so. What I do think might happen is we have one last bid of volatility in dollar yen above 145. This, of course, might be Friday with non farms. Might even be today with the minutes, although I doubt it. But we also have ISM services and jolts tomorrow. <clears throat> ADP also tomorrow. Feels like there's one more push um, above this 145.08. This has all been too predictable and too simple for FX, right? Everyone was just sitting here at 145 waiting for the BOJ. Uh, if you sold 145s, those have been good. I mean, good in a short-term kind of a way. We've been sort of 145.08, 144.08 now for for three days. FX is more likely to print a 145.62 high um, on a wildly hawkish or bullish or U.S. release and then mysteriously fail. Um, so people, especially momentum, people get caught long. Um, so we're looking for something like that. And if that happens, obviously cross yen will have one more, one more push above, above these, these quadruple highs. So we'll see nothing really to do here. It's very low vol, um, very quiet in general. I don't know what else to say. We're just, we're just kind of, oh yeah, let's look at this dollar China. Dollar China moved, um, you know, moved internal interest rates a little bit yesterday, which caused a little bit of a kerfuffle. Um, this thing went down to 721.92, but is back here at 724.30. Mm -hmm. Those of you who sold through 724.50, um, I'd be careful now. This uh, this looks like it's going to be marching back forward, and and with the bad data that's coming out of China or the weaker data that's coming out of China, this can move higher. What do we know about this chart? We know that there will be stops above seven twenty eight sixty six, and that's really the only thing we can be sure of um, at this juncture. But be careful um, with dollar China shorts. Yeah, that's about all I got as far as the open. We have no great plans <clears throat> to trade the open here. Um, we're going to sit tight and see how the day goes. Maybe we'll see some um, some extension somewhere or we can, we can try and nibble at some stuff. We like buying euros and we like buying gold, but we're going to be patient and wait for low ones. All right, talk to you guys later. Ciao.